Hey guys, it's Belinda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Dynamo script for your Revit model that automatically converts masking regions into fill regions. I created a very similar video a while back. I think it was last year. And in that video, I showed you how to select different rooms in your project and automatically create fill regions within those rooms. Um, someone commented on that video and asked if I could create a similar Dynamo script that would convert masking regions into fill regions. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I set up a very simple project, as you see here, uh, with four different rooms. And the pattern that you see is just flow tile. I'm going to create a masking region at the edge of these four rooms. Under the properties panel, you see the masking region is a detail item, but you can't do much with this masking region. You can't change the color, you can't change transparency. It masks everything underneath it, as opposed to a fill region, which I'll create on the other side. The fill region has more flexibility. You can change the color, you can change the transparency, pick different patterns, etc. I'm going to create another masking region in room four. And the first masking region, I'll just extend that out so it overlaps the walls. I'm then going to open up my Dynamo script, which you see on the left. It's pretty simple. It lets you select the masking regions that you want. And you can also select the fill region pattern. And then using a custom Python script, it creates new fill regions. The first thing I'll do is run this just so you see how it works. And I get a dialog box asking me to pick elements of the category detail items. So I'm going to select these two masking regions. And what the script is going to do is create two new fill regions with a solid black pattern, which is what happened. Let's look at this Dynamo script to see how it works. Since masking regions fall under the category detail items, that's what I selected. The isolate pick model elements node lets me individually pick these masking regions in the project. I then use the spring collector element sketch node to convert all these elements into curves and extract it from masking regions. The problem is that this spring collector element sketch node creates sublists within sublists. And I don't want that. I want to simplify it. So I use the list.getItemAtIndex node to extract list three from this big list. And you can see that this watch node shows me that I have a very simplified list extracted from the main sublist. The next part of this Dynamo script then selects the fill region that you want. So the watch node shows you all the different fill region patterns in your project. And I selected the solid black pattern. The filter by bool mask node then filters out the one pattern that you chose from the entire list of fill regions that are available to you. So there are two inputs going into this Python script. The first is in of zero, which are the boundary lines for the fill regions that you want to create. So this for loop creates boundary curves for your fill regions. The second input is in of one, which is your fill region pattern. And that goes to this constant FRT. There's a second for loop, which then creates fill regions using the boundary curves and the fill region that you selected. It's really simple. And then there's one output, which are the new fill regions. That's it. So the one problem I noticed with this script is that if I move this fill region, the original masking region is still below it. It's not deleted. So if I change this solid black to a diagonal cross hatch or a diagonal down transparent pattern, I can't see the flow underneath it because that masking region is still covering up everything. And I don't want to go in and delete every single masking region because you can always miss some. So I'm going to edit the script so that it deletes all those original masking regions. I'll edit the spring collectors element sketch node and I'll create a new output. This new output is just going to bring in the uh, masking region elements through the node. I'm not going to do anything other than that. So you can see on the right there, there's a new elements output, which is basically the same input that you put into that node. 
I'll then create a new delete uh, element node and I'll use the masking regions as an input to that node. So when I refresh this script and run it again, what should happen is that two new solid black fill regions should be created and the original masking regions should be deleted, which is what happened. And when I move that black fill region away, you see that the masking region is not there anymore. That blue line is just a remnant of what was there in the first place, but it's not actually in your project, which is great. So if I change the solid black to a diagonal crosshatch transparent pattern, I still see the floor and the walls underneath it. That's it. So it's a pretty simple script, but I think it could be useful. Thanks to the person who asked me to write this script. I really appreciate it. I'll have a link to this script in the description below, as well as all the uh, packages that you need to download to make this Dynamo script work. Let me know in the comments if I can help create any other Dynamo scripts or uh, troubleshoot any other rabbit questions that you have. I'm trying to get better at Dynamo and scripting and this is a really good way for me to learn. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching. Thank you.